Hey guys, Brad M73 here. Welcome back to another episode of Farming Simulator 22 as we uh, embark on this beautiful June day. June in the game, unfortunately. It's still January 20th here, I think. Uh, <laughs> as always, don't forget to hit that like button. It helps me out tremendously. Um, always love, love to encourage you guys to do that. It, it really does help uh, the YouTube algorithm know that, hey, I am here to do a video. And I don't know what it does, to be honest. Um, but uh, please, please leave a like. Uh, leave comments. Always love hearing from you guys. And be sure to subscribe for many, many more videos. And once again, I am going to be using my Toby Eye Tracker. If you guys are interested at all in picking up a Toby Eye Tracker, use my referral link down in the video description. And when you check out, use code BRADM73 for an extra 5% off of your purchase. Uh, let's see. We have some harvesting to do. Uh, let's see. Where do I want to do this? Uh, I should not have driven this way. Okay, here's the wonderful Toby Eye Tracker here. Hopefully I'm not going to get my combine stuck. Also, hopefully, I don't want to take out like half my crop as I drive up through here. This road is pretty darn narrow. Any cars coming? Oh, uh, that car's coming. Yes, yeah, so we've got our field out here. I want to say it was barley or something. I, I don't know. This is me like looking over to my microphone so I can <laughs> so I can listen so I can whisper to you guys. Hey guys, how's it going? Is that creepy? Is that like is that too creepy? <laughs> okay, we're gonna disconnect. So first we've got to unfold the combine. I'm going to hit X to do that. V to lower the uh, combine there. And then we're going to take off. And the next thing I want to do is we need to get into our brand new John Deere tractor. And I, I need to start cutting grass. So I'm just gonna pull up here. We're gonna disconnect, there we go. Disconnect our front weight there. Oh, our mower's way over here, okay. I thought it was, I thought I had parked it over there, but I guess I didn't. Oh my gosh. It's very difficult to do that. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna unfold the back Unfold the front, lower, no, lower the back. There we go. Uh, I kind of 
don't want to hit the field, but we're going to have to right here. But look, the, the mower totally does not affect the crop whatsoever. Uh. All right, we got that done. Oh, gosh. That is so weird that it does not affect that. I don't know. Maybe it's not really that weird. Uh-oh. We've got our other tractor on the way down here. Oh. This should be fine. Wow, look at all that grass we just dumped there. Uh-oh. Guys, we are going to have so much silage this season. Yeah, start this guy up. I don't even know why he's sitting over here. Look at all this silage we are getting. Or not silage, it's grass. It will be silage very soon. Um, I'm just gonna push that stuff out of the way. All right. I also f should push this. Let's get this, um, yeah. I need to unfold the... Oh, brother. I guess I'll unfold the cultivator and leave it right, right here by the... by the house. Because I want to cut this grass right here. I think this is going to be a ton of silage right here, but or grass, I'm sorry, but hey, any little bit helps. And let's watch out, Farmer Bob. Okay, I don't know where he's, <laughs> he's like disappearing. I come out. All right. Okay, so see now here we've got all this stuff. Uh. I 
I need to get all that stuff out of the way. And by that stuff, I clearly mean the cedar. Uh-oh. AI worker has a full grain tank. Oh, we're refilling that. Actually, I should... Oh, crud. Oh, oh, oh. Can I... Can I refill off of that? I would love to get that pallet out of the way. Yeah, there we go. All right. Okay, so we'll just go out this way. In between all of our grass rows here. <laughs> and I'm just gonna... I'll just drive him out on the field, I suppose. Hire the worker here. We've got a little bit of uh, headlanding, headlanding to do. Headlanding. with this field right here. Okay, we are actually mowing our new grass field, which is freaking awesome. Oh no! Okay, we are actually mowing that. That is not awesome. Did not really expect that to, to happen. Yeah. So I'm just gonna drive all the way up the road here. Alright, 
let's hire the worker for a second. Um, I'm gonna disconnect. We're gonna go get the um, the weeder out of the way over here. I guess if your crop is ready to harvest, this thing is just going to chew it up. Your uh, your mower is just going to chew that right up. What I hope is going to happen here is I hope I can just hire a worker. There we go. So we're hiring that worker. Um, okay. Release this worker here really quick. So I actually want to do the headland down the field here and then down at the other end. We're gonna do that. Just like that. Hit my, come on, hit cruise control, there we go. Take a sip of coffee there. Mm. Hot, hot stuff. And we still have to run them over uh, over here as well. Oh, check out the mower. Like, he actually lifts the mower every time before he turns around. That's pretty cool. You know what else I forgot to do, guys? Got to enable the straw swath. That's even more money. So, kind of kicked ourselves there a little bit, but yeah, that's okay, I guess. <clears throat> All right, let's go um, move the the rock picker.
I was going to take it back to the farm, but then I decided to take it over here. Because I'm probably going to be cultivating this field over here, so whenever we cultivate, we're going to have to pick rocks. Kind of silly, I know, but that's just the way it... That's just the way it is. Oh, I forgot to look at um, fields. So we basically fertilizing... I'm going to just accept this contract. We've got our fertilizing tank right there. It was field 24, so that's going to be up in here. So I'm just going to have him go and do his thing. Yeah. And then, well, may I work this? Oh, that's probably, hello, that's probably the uh, fertilizer tractor. Still blocked by an object. Oh, I shouldn't have gone this way. Oh, I see what he's blocked by. gonna take him up here and now we'll set the set his destination there daggone it no we have to drive it manually We have to drive it manually because remember whenever you hire a worker and you've got the the fertilizer sprayer on, or spreader on there it starts spreading fertilizer they really 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 need to fix this I'm not even sure I'm going here. There we go. <laughs> Get my mini map up there. I was actually really looking forward to playing today. And... Like, ever since yesterday, I was like, I can't wait to do another harvest. There's fields 20 and 21. Yeah, I don't take this left. I take the next left and drive up the hill right there. Yeah. Now the downside is we're wasting tons of time with our other tractors while we do this. Um, I'm gonna check on, oh see, he's almost done. Uh, I can't remember is can I wrap hay and turn hay or I'm sorry straw into silage 
I honestly don't think in the real world straw is ever turned into silage. Oh, did I ever get the collectibles over here? Uh, it looks like I did because I don't see them up on top of the silo over there. So, all right. All right. We're just going to do this quick and dirty. Right back up here, and the contract is finished. Whew. Oh, we could have just driven straight. Oh, my gosh. I could have just driven right over here. <laughs> um, well, let's go ahead and get that contract uh, collected. finished. needs to come over here. Ah! Wrong way. Okay, so we have some... Whoops. Let's see, let's go ahead. Yes, yeah, put that down. Oh, you can actually pick up grass going backwards? Really? That's interesting. I would not have expected that. Alright, so I'm just going to drop this one off here. Oh my gosh, we already have the second one? Well, we were almost full the last time. This 
give us another veil? Huh? Look at how much, look how fast that's going up. It will, oh my gosh. That is crazy. Guys, we are gonna have so many, so much silage this year, this season. I bet we're gonna have at least sixty to eighty thousand in just in silage, if I had to guess. Okay, we're at eleven percent. Let's see what this big the phone. Golly, just that little pile got us up to twenty-three percent. That is crazy. The only thing I'm really concerned about is the grass field that we, you know, just seeded. Oh. Gotta drop that off. Gotta be careful right there. AI worker D has completed their, their task. That is probably the combine. So we already have what? One, two, 
three, four, five, this will be six. At least six bales. Eight bales, so there's one, two over there. There's three, four. I know we have at least five plus the one I just dropped off, six, and then this one would be seven. I think we're gonna have an eighth bale right here, maybe. And uh, maybe not. It's gonna be pretty darn close though. Ooh, almost eight. Uh -huh. <clears throat> we could drop it off in it as an eighth bale. Yeah, see there's one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, yeah, seven bales. Eight is gonna be right here. if our trailer is going to have enough for the rest of this uh, barley, but we'll find out. Oh my gosh, look at all those lines. kind of hard to see where I've got to drive here.
crazy. Yep, could not get that one full. My gosh. <laughs> this is crazy. Ah. We're going to have another one here in just a moment. Okay, so we're at 72. I wonder this grass through here is usually... Oh, no, never mind. We're going to have so much silage. Look at this. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait. Way up by the red thing, I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're working on our eighth bale. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be incredible. Now it's going pretty slow. Oh, now it's going fast. Hundred percent again. Let's let's start these up, and I'm just gonna do. I'm gonna go right down through here. Hopefully right about there is where we're going to get a nice good swath. Now we can kind of... There we go. That's gonna suck.
I don't want to get it so close to the field that I'm going to be damaging my crop when I turn the corners. guy back to the farm. Oh, look, there's a trail. I wonder if this is specifically for farmers. I never actually noticed a trail there before. <laughs> I'm not going to complain about it. Because the farm's right over there, and... We can just come right up here, kind of make a left, go up between these two fields, and pretty much be there. And then I can grab, I can use him to grab the trailer. Still got a nice big chunk of fertilizer in here, though I think I might actually want to use my liquid fertilizer. I kind of bought that on accident, I'll be honest. It's not even full. It's just at the max weight limit. Yes, beep, beep, beep. <laughs> Can you hear it? beep it at me as I go by. I was trying to avoid damaging my crops there.
so here's where we may or may not start getting, you know, really good yields. We're just going to have to see. See how slow it's going up now? It's because this grass really wasn't fully grown. Now, right here is really when the test begins. It's going up pretty good. Can't complain. so many bales. Look at all of them. Oh my gosh. We might, I mean, we literally might have, so that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, looks like nine rows. So that might be nine more bales. Maybe more. So we're at 50%. 80. 90. Oh yeah, this is definitely probably well more than 10 bales. This is awesome. We're going to have another bale right here. the deer. Oh, no, we're eating. Okay, we're eating it up. That is just awesome. We are getting, we're gonna be, we're gonna have so much money off of this. The only downside is it's incredibly time consuming. I mean, we're gonna be at like 40%, 50%, wow. Oh my gosh, it's almost like, it's almost annoying because we're stopping too much, but at the same time, I'm just like, come on, show me the money.
do 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 60 70 see we're gonna have another one right up here this is just crazy okay how many do we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen just in this 14 15 we're wrapping 16 17 there 18 We're gonna have so many bales. Well, I'll be honest, I'm pleasantly surprised with the yield of this field, especially considering the grass didn't appear to be, you know, waist high or something. But it, it, you know, it did say it was ready for harvest. Now, once I get all these done, what I'm going to be most interested to see is the straw. How is the straw gonna work? Will I be able to wrap the straw? I seem like I had the same question back in the FS19 days, and I honestly don't remember. All of you guys are like, you can't do it, or you, you can't, you can definitely do it. Um, whatever the, the answer is. Okay, this one is going slower because we were mowing down the road. So I think we lost a little bit there. I actually want to go and look and see what the um, the silage price is. Okay, it's down in the 400s. Usually like we get up in the 500s. Anybody want to go back and tell me what the price used to be? <laughs> from my previous videos. I don't remember. There are, s <laughs> it's like the round bale attack, the attack of the round, round bales. I need to write a song now. Round bales, round bales. Where do they come from? Where do they go? Round bears, round bears. <laughs> oh, just, just, just forget I sang that song. Okay, please. Somebody's, somebody's gonna pull that out one day, and I'm just gonna be completely embarrassed. Check that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, maybe twenty-three. Working on twenty-three right now. Ah! 
Wabba! That is one dirty fail wrapper. Oh my gosh, we're almost finished with this field, but not finished with the grass. I think I'm gonna pick up like one more bale off of this field, and then I'm gonna go over and we're gonna, we're gonna check to see what actually happens with the uh, straw. Yeah, we're gonna wrap this one. Actually, I can just take them over here somewhere. Oh, I didn't even... Man, we've got more, because I didn't even cut around this field. All right. So let's turn the baler back on again, and let's see what's going to happen. Yep, there's straw. I think it basically does the same thing, except it doesn't wrap the straw bales. I think it'll pick up the straw bale bales, but it doesn't wrap them. But we'll find out here in just a moment. Find out. Yeah. So there's no. So we essentially just unload the round bale here. So now you know. And now I know. Kind of irks me because I could have been making money kind of lost all this money here. Now, another thing that we could definitely do is buy a wind rower. And wind rowing the rows together we won't have to do as many passes back and forth. Um, obviously, that's more money, but that's all equipment that we could definitely use on future jobs. So, something to think about. Look at all those white mail or white, yeah, it's white nails. This is so awesome. So awesome. What's really gonna be awesome is the length of this video is probably gonna be like 17 hours long. 
I feel like I've gone way over my usual time right now. Maybe I haven't. I don't know. Close the door. We'll have to see how much straw bales sell for. Now, if I was, um, you know, if I had animals already, I would probably. I would pro You know what? Think, speaking of animals, I don't know that I've bought... Uh-oh. I don't know that I've bought seed for my chickens because I've been... Yeah. Zero. They don't have... <laughs> Their health. They're all going to die. Um, yeah. They don't have any grain. So maybe I'll stop over there with the combine and just give them grain. I think we're probably we'll probably get one, maybe two more bales out of this. So got one, two, three, four, five, five. Five bales. Okay, so there's six. And then let's see. Straw. Oh, gosh. South Biomass Energy. Ooh, December. See, June's pretty low price. December's pretty high price. It's just, is that high price, is that going to be enough? To justify waiting until December to sell? I don't know. Okay, now I don't know if the rest of this is going to equal a full bale or not. I mean, we're at f almost 40%. Yeah, I think we'll probably get one more bale out of this. And then we can finish off wrapping all the rest of the grass. And actually cutting more grass. We still have a bunch of grass we need to cut. Boom, 100. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bother with the rest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, I think round bales just on this one field or immediately around it. That is nuts. Okay. We're on. We're going to have to take this thing through the pressure washer when we're done for sure. Absolutely.
what I might need to do is I might need to take my field 44 and essentially turn that into like a storage area. Either grass storage, bale storage, I don't know. This is so freaking ridiculous. You know, the only thing I wish they could have done um, since they've got, you know, the vehicles kind of sometimes pushing bushes and things like that out of the way, is to do the same thing with the tree branches. like right here this is gonna be really eh. honestly we'll probably get way more money off of the grass here than we will off of a little bit of what is that canola soybean no, canola. I was reading an article late like somewhat recently about how terrible canola oil is for the body because it's a, apparently, I guess it's like a refined oil. I don't know. It, you know, you know what's crazy about life is throughout my life, I've read articles that this is good for you, and then later you find other articles that say this is bad for you, and then later you find other articles that say, hey, this is good for you again. So it kind of like, uh, what is right, what is wrong, I don't know. I don't know anymore. Alright, so we're gonna finish this off right here.
Now this part, uh-oh. You might actually have to fold these up. No, no, no. I just don't want to hit this round bale over there. Yeah, see, did all right. All right. V. Um. Okay. Sorry. I'm sorry if the screen is going up and down. I'm looking at my keyboard. It doesn't exactly make for a pleasant viewing experience. Um, on my screen, it's fun, you know, because I'm physically looking down at my keyboard. It doesn't really affect my gameplay, but it just affects the view while I'm recording here. So if you're wondering, hey Brad, why does your view keep doing this crazy thing? Well, that's why. Uh oh, let's go all the way up here. Yeah, right there. that I might not actually be able to pick this up because it's off the field. Uh -oh. uh -oh. All right. Oh, this is still turned on, okay. <laughs> like, it's still running. Too many bales, too many. I can't say I can't handle it. <laughs> I mean, this is getting to be pretty ridiculous. I was, I was expecting, you know, I was expecting something good, but not to this crazy level. I mean, honestly, you yeah. guys. Seriously, I wasn't. I literally, uh, figuratively and otherwise. Let's get this. This is gonna drive me insane for a little while. Oh, no, just turn off the, just turn it off and everything will be fine, Brad. Just turn it off. I guess I can eject that bale just to kinda. Okay. Baler is back on. Silage 468. Oh my gosh. We're going to have to do the next silage pickup 
in the next episode because this episode is going crazy long. I honestly, I literally, I keep saying honestly and literally completely out of context, but uh, I, I thought this video was going to be a short one today. Honestly. I'm not going to say honestly. <laughs> I'm being honest, guys. <laughs> um, I'm in a weird mood today, I guess. I don't know. So we've got two bales already. Third, number three is coming. Probably going to have another one by the end of the row here. Uh oh. Darn it, I was afraid of this. I was... All that is not... I have to be kind of, it's kind of like the center of the vehicle has to be on the field. So, okay, so I'm not gonna be able to get any more off of that. Oh my gosh, but we have so many bales that it's, it's almost, I mean, it's just insane. Absolutely, positively insane. Um, I literally am not sure where we're gonna store them all. Without I, I don't know. I'm so confused right now. <laughs> Not really confused. But that is awesome. We gotta spray it off. We gotta spray him off for being such a good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Hey, who's a good boy? Who's a good boy, guys? I think this is one that we got used too, isn't it? I don't think I paid full price for that sucker. Um, speaking of prices, I just want to see if there's anything. <gasps> Wait, a Fent 300 Vario. 100. What if we go to the 314? That pushes us up to 142 horsepower we do have um a front ptv or whatever that is we're also going to have a rear ptv um so we got wide tires and weights we could do narrow tires on this or even narrow Rear twin wheel, let's see. Twin wheels. Too bad we can't get narrow tires with, uh, let's see, front motor attacher. I don't think I need that. So that'd be 60,000. Now, if we were to buy a brand new one, 300 Vario, let's see, that's gonna be a small one. No, not a 200. There, 300 Vario. Boom. With narrow tires. 123. So basically twice the price. 
Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And that's for what? A 142 horsepower. So it's going to be less than even my uh, my Massey, the Massey Ferguson. I do feel like taking this guy up and getting him thoroughly repaired. Why don't we go do that right now? We still have all those spraying jobs to do. Uh -huh. We need fuel badly. I don't think it's going to cost $387 to fill that up with diesel. Maybe like $100? Three, 387 seems excessive. But I don't know. I don't know how big these, the fuel tanks on these things are. I didn't think they were that big. Somebody go out and find how, like, what is, how many gallons not liters, gallons. The John Deere 4755. How many gallons of fuel? And does this have um, depth? The diesel, what is it? The, the diesel exhaust fluid? Does it have a depth tank? I don't know if this is... I don't know. I think, I think they started doing the whole thing with depth like back in the late 80s or early 90s. Could even be earlier than that. I just don't know. So since death fluid is basically urea, oh my gosh, 300, 3,000. Paint condition zero. Twenty one thousand to repaint that? Yeah, right. Oh actually the the Relant, I was expecting I was expecting way bigger repairs on that. Um let's see. I I really was. I thought I thought it was gonna be in the thousands. Alright, so we've got this guy going on. Um Let's I'm gonna put the uh, the pipe in. We're gonna drop this onto the trailer. Boom, perfect. The next thing we're gonna need to do is I just wanna draw, I wanna give the uh, chicken some bali. Anybody coming? Nobody's coming. Oh, this thing is weird. I wonder what it, I don't know. I would think it would be kind of cool to drive a combine. Watch out, deer, my deer. Hopefully that'll last them a 
couple days. <laughs> well, we have we still have a lot to do in this in-game day, so um, we're gonna have to come back for that, I guess. I'm just gonna offload that. I don't even know why I'm doing this, but we're doing it, whatevs. So it's June. All right, so it's June. We gotta look at our calendar here. So it's June, we can uh, do barley. Now I can plant grass July, August, September, and October. Come, you know, maybe August and October we could do a, a grass cutting on that field and and then plant barley in October again. So, man, that's actually kind of a good idea. We could even do the same with wheat and canola. So July is, well, you've with, with canola you only have until September, but we could do it. Um, just for that extra money. Um, but we're going to have to come back in the next episode and kind of like figure out what in the world. Let's see. Oh, right button. There we go. Okay, so that's that. Yeah, we're going to have to do the pickup of all these bales and we have a lot of bales it's going to take a whole episode and yeah, it probably won't take a whole episode but it's going to take a long time to pick up these it'll take half an episode how's that maybe and here's our my, our bale trailer so be sure to uh, tune in for the next episode of farming simulator 22 with me, Brad M73. As always, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I will see you back very, very soon. Once again, I'm Brad M73, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.